Hello everyone, welcome to another video brought to you by WebVidTuts.com. This is video 5 in the HTML training series, and in this video we are going to learn how to put an image on our web page. So let's just go ahead and begin by opening up Notepad++ and putting down on your standard HTML tags for an HTML document. Alright, right now we are going to learn about the image tag. You'll use the Oh, excuse me. You'll use the image tag for when you want to import an image onto your web page through HTML. So uh, just go ahead and type what I'm typing right now. Okay, that is our image tag. And you may notice that we didn't put a closing tag. Well, that's because we only need one tag for an image. But it closes out right here by putting this little forward slash right at the end before the greater than sign. So you want to you want to do that for all image tags, put a little forward slash. Okay, and within this image tag, we will put what image we want to load up. And to define what image we want to load up, we have to use the source right here. Type in src, and that is where we will begin putting our. Um, which video we want, to, or not which video, but which image we want to load in. Go ahead and put src equals, and then put two uh, quotation marks right there. Now, how you want to do this is, okay, let's just go ahead and save our document. Uh, go ahead and save it where you want to load the file at. But you can see right here, my HTML is right there. And let's say I want to access this image right here. I have to have it in that same folder as this right here for this to work. Because right here, when I search for this, it's going to have to be right in that folder right there. Now, I'll teach you how to do it so where it goes to all the other folders too and everything. But let me just go ahead and just, uh, do this for right now. Okay. Now, we have to type the file name of what file we want to load up. So, my file name is called myimage.png. And make sure you check out which extension you have. You can check that out if you don't have the file extensions on. We're going to properties of the image. And you can see right here, mine's a PNG image right there. Okay, so let's go and do this like this so we can better see it. Okay, it's my image.png. Alright, that's good. Another thing we have to do is define the height and width of the actual image. So, okay, width right here, this is where you define the width at. We'll name 100 pixels. I think it's 100 pixels, let me check. Yeah, the dimension of this is 100 by 100, so we have to put 100 pixels for width. And, oh, I just spelled height wrong. What am I doing? <laughs> height right there equals quotation marks and 100, 100 pixels. You don't have to put PX, but that just defines those pixels. It'll work either way if you don't put the PX there or not. Okay, go ahead and save that. <clears throat> Remember, use uh, width equals and then whichever. How many pixels in height and equals whatever pixels? You um, these are actually optional, but it's always good practice to use them because it might because using these will aid in your layout. And if you don't put them there, sometimes your layout will be totally messed up, and that's something you want to avoid always. And just it's just good practice to put them tags there. Well, they're not tags, but they're they're called attributes actually. And Let's see, everything looks good and make sure your picture is right there where it is in your thing. And always make sure that the HTML file is with in the same folder as that image right there. So let's go ahead and just load this up in the browser. And right there, my image is loaded right in front of us. Why can't I drag my Google Chrome? Oh, we're getting a little bit of lag right Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was wondering what's going on. Okay, and just to show you what happens if you don't put like the right height and everything, like let's put it like 50 pixels for the height. All it does it just shrinks it like that. Same thing with the width; it'll just uh, shrink it. It's width property. That, but that does not mean that the file gets smaller. Uh, they're still loading the same exact file; it's just that they're shrinking it. So if you want to make like a smaller file size and everything you have to actually go into an external like photo editor like Photoshop and shrink it down that way <coughs> oh, excuse me uh, just to show you what happens if you don't put the right URL or 
finder path for the image. Let's see what happens. So you don't be at this big thing right here. It's like, uh, okay, we couldn't find the image, so we'll just put this right here. Uh, let's let me show you how to uh, go into images or uh, go into folders to find images. Let's name this folder folder. <laughs> do it like that and put that right there. Uh, let's go ahead and just copy. Actually, let's move this into that folder. So now my image is actually in a folder with in the folder of the actual HTML file. So just to show you what's going on here, you can't load the file now because it's like, uh, okay, we couldn't find that file in this folder, so we're just going to put that there. But if I go ahead and type folder and then forward slash my image, now we're going we're going into the folder to find my image.png right there. Let's go ahead and save that, and voila, comes up right there because it's going inside the folder named folder to find the myimage.png file. And that is all for this video. I hope you guys learned a lot using the image tag and importing images into your web page. Um, thank you all for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and register as a member on webvidtuts.com if you like all these videos and want access to even more videos. Thank you all for watching and have a good day and goodbye.